It's every kid's dream. Children at Oak Grove Park went behind the wheel, getting an up close look at fire trucks, tractors, and cruisers. It was all part of the Centerville, Washington Township Big Gig Rig. News reporter Kelly King shows us how it's an example of what's working in the Miami Valley tonight. It's probably one of the loudest events in the area and one where some parents might need some headphones. But it was an opportunity for kids to get up close and hands on experience with vehicles they see driving around town daily. Most are barely tall enough to see above the wheel or reach the pedals. But these kids got a chance to sit in the driver's seat. The kids don't have the chance to do this anywhere else. No, look, With more than 20 vehicles, a parking lot turned into a playground oh. for the 11th annual Big Rig Gig. We just came out to look at all the trucks and diggers and lawnmowers and bobcats and everything because my son is just obsessed with all of them. Lauren Randall brought her son Peter here for the second year in a row to shift some gears and sound the sirens. This is heaven to him. Heaven with a lot of noise. People are always surprised how loud it really is, but the kids just can't resist pressing those buttons. But it's not just a chance to honk the horn. It's also a learning experience. Especially with um, children's ambulance, you know, when the kids have that hand-on experience, then when they have to take a ride, it's not as scary. They've met the people that would be helping them, um, and same with seeing the sheriffs around town. While getting up close with cruisers, fire trucks, bulldozers, and buses. Hi, how are you? They were also able to talk with the faces behind the wheels who keep the community running. Oh, thank you. It's really a chance for the kids to get to see a little bit more hands-on um, the people that make this community run as smooth as it does. I just like to see my son's reaction, how happy he is. And... Have a good day. The event was also a chance to give back to the community. People attending donated school supplies to students in need at Klein Elementary. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.